And it's people that wake up and go get it We go get this, baby Photo Porsche, so photogenic All I know is to go, go get it Shoot my shot, now nah, I ain't gon' miss it All I know is to go, go get it All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it Wake up in the morning, kiss my son Then go, go get it Go, go get it Go, go get it Photo Porsche, so photogenic All my life, I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son Go, go get it. Top floor, top dog, like I just signed a TDE. Huh. Gang, 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 gang. Know we all gotta eat. Up late, bills do, rent do, I ain't been to sleep. Woo. Looking in the mirror, all I see is everything that I wanted to be. Me. My city depended on me. That's on GOD. Grew up watching my mom become what daddy couldn't be. Hot ball like MLB. These Bottega boots ain't cheap. My car ain't got no key. I push the start to start my week. I'm in this photo poor, so photogenic. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Highmark Stadium in upstate New York. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. But from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen on the move to his left. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. And that's a tough throw for a right-handed quarterback rolling out to his left and trying to get the ball to a receiver. We've seen all those drills where they're trying to get the shoulders square and pointed towards the target downfield. And meanwhile, Allen's throw here taken in by Knox. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. They only needed one yard on third down. They get 10 instead by going to the air. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Allen. Flushed out right. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter. But that time, they were up to the challenge. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 36. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Stephon Diggs. 36 yards, and the Bills will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Extra point by Bass, up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. To the touchdown pass to kick it away. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. Here we go, here we go. Bro in the 
Bengals with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot, and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll stay on the ground, mix it again. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be returned from deep in the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Finding Knox there, complete. And he's going to get this down near the 25. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. On the give, this is Singletary. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. They run here with Singletary. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Bills touchdown. Devin Singletary, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Bills have taken the lead. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that makes the score 14 to seven. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out, but I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. 
they won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Back to Mixon on second down. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he won't get to the marker. He's a yard short. A pickup of three. It leaves him with fourth and one. Fourth down. Here's Joe Burrow. Man open. That's Jamar Chase complete. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through here every go, situation. Go. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense. They can't get the stop here. Mixon with a first down carry. And a good stiff arm there before he's brought down on a nice little game. 90 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. The Burroughs throw taken in here by Chase. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. going to give this to Mixon. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Burrow on play action. Blitz coming and down he goes. Give that sack to Kyir Elam on the corner blitz. He had some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Here we go. So that'll leave Burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. Burrow will throw. A throw for Boyd, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the Bills are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. But really, not much secret there. Third and long, Charles, and he was looking to throw the football. And I would imagine as a defender, you're kind of salivating in that spot, right? You certainly are, because third and long situations, they tip the scale towards the defense every single time. Now you're actually able to dictate 
and understand what the offense is trying to do. You know where the first down marker is. You set your defense that way. And maybe you can be a little more aggressive in certain situations because of that. You start focusing on your coverage assignment. And when the ball's released, you break on it and make a play, as we just saw there. From the 44, Allen flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. They exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. Here we go, here we go. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision could get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending the play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Five yards, now it's third and five. We'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, Mixon. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Four yards remain for second down. Burrow looking to pass. Gonna get this out to his running back, P. Ryan. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Four yards the pickup, first down. Here we go. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. On one, ready? going to throw again. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. Uh, their offensive teammates have to give the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. A final shot before half for Allen. Man open downfield as Diggs. He's got it. 30. 10. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The player is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead. A little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? Tyler Bass now for the point after.
It's good, and it is now 21-7. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Time over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Bucks set to get the football first, and they trail here as we get started in the second half. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Bengals drive about to get going. In the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a kind of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Burrow. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Taylor. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here and he also picks up a first down. Oh, they had a good chance go, to go. get off the field defensively there. If they could just wrap up, it's going to be a fourth down. But instead, they can't get him on the deck, and he allows them to pick up the first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. We're in the third quarter in upstate New York with a second and ten. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that much. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, here we go, here we go. timed it perfectly and knocked it free. On third down, Burrow. And that is incomplete. So coming up empty here to start the third quarter. Already two scores down. Got to be careful. Yeah, I did notice, though, that the captain of the defense patted the quarterback on the helmet on his way out, pretty much letting him know, we know the pressure's on us. We're going to go out there and try and hold serve for you while you figure it out over here on the sidelines. Burrow going for it on fourth. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And the Bulls are in great shape here as they take over at the 46-yard line. Well, 